Hello and welcome to episode number 3 of the Unreal Engine tutorial series. So in this video I'm going to do a brief introduction to what materials are and also how to apply a material to any object. So we're finally going to create content and use a content browser. So there are two uh, main ways of creating content. You can go to add new and just uh, click on material or whatever you want to create or you can just right click which is what I what normal normally you'll end up doing and just create material so normally materials are named with an M first and after the actual name of the material so when you're finding uh, something you can just search in the content put M and let's say material tree so you put M tree so let's call this M01 and you want to open that up and this will appear so this uh, screen over here pretty much ha will have every node that you add so pretty much what a node does it just changes values except for this uh, last node this last node what it does it's the most important node and it takes every information and every calculation and stuff you do and it pretty much transforms it into something we can see which is the material and you'll see the changes right over here so we also have a palette but normally I don't use it although I'll just leave it there for now so it pretty much has every single node and as you can see it has a lot we won't be using all of them of course there's just way too many but a lot of these are actually very useful so okay so we have a base color metallic specular roughness and a few other more so the base color as you can already guess it's the color that the material will have so maybe if you have a texture you can just plug that into the base color but for now we're just going to use solid colors in this tutorial so a base color so pretty much colors and computers you might already know are made of three values which are red green and blue which stands for RGB so we need to this output input sorry uh, takes in three different values which are red green and blue so we also have metallic uh, specular and roughness and emission which I'll explain in this video and these only take a single value so there are different ways you can create uh, nodes with one two or more variables so pretty much the easy way is just press one in your keyboard and click on the panel so this is a so I pressed one so we only have one value but if I do with we, we can do it with two with three with even with four you can just go on and on so I want to delete this and I want to create a three value a node and normally these are called parameters so this is a three value parameter and this is a one value parameter sometimes they're called param just as an abbreviation so now that we have a our first um, three parameter value what we what we can do is go into the details panel and change the color so let's say we want a blue material for some reason so you can just move this all uh, over where the blue color is and just make sure it's uh, it has saturation a lot of saturation so if it doesn't have saturation it's black if it has a lot it's totally blue okay and actually no not saturation but value saturation what it does uh, if it's really high it's showing every, like the whole color and if it has a low saturation it starts blending in with white or with black okay so we want to apply this and wait for this to appear so as you can see we have a blue material so that's pretty simple and we can do we can do a red material uh, yellow green pink whatever you want 
So, we have metallic over here. And this, as I said before, takes in a takes in one value. So normally metallic materials will only have a value of 0 or 1. Uh, normally you don't want anything in between. But let's say for example you have a material and you have rust on top of that. With some nodes you can pretty much tell the material that the rust appears metallic and like let's say it, in the rest appears non-metallic just as an example but right now that's kind of complicated so we're just going to do one value that changes the whole material so a zero value for metallic will make the material just not look metallic kind of like plasticky but if we make it one it will actually look pretty metallic so as you can see it kind of looks like a golden um, color right now. So we also have specular. Normally you do not want to do anything with the specular value. It pretty much, uh, it's sort of like, it represents the amount of reflectivity a surface has. So normally uh, the value for specular is already set to 0 0.5. And if for some reason you want to change it, you can just do a value from 0 to 1. So we also have roughness, and to explain roughness, I did this really fast crappy drawing. So a flat surface with, with no roughness, it's going to get light, and it's going to reflect it. So it pretty much, if it's completely flat, which is not very useful in real life, it's going to reflect every single light ray. If it's very rough, which means it doesn't have a flat surface, pretty much like every single thing, like a table or maybe a coin or something. So it's going to, it's just not, like light is going to get trapped in these gaps, okay? So I hope that was a decent enough explanation. So normally for roughness, you would not want a 0 or a 1, you want something in between because that's a bit extreme. But there is a trick, well I'll show you right now. So let's create another value. Remember it's by pressing 1 and clicking on the screen. So let's uh, change the roughness to 0. And as you can see, it's pretty much, it looks like a mirror. So if you make this color white, you pretty much have the material for a mirror in your game. So that was pretty, pretty quick, as you can see. So as you can see, since the roughness is zero, it's going to reflect every single ray of light. And also that means it's going to, well, as I said before, it's going to act like a mirror. But if we make it one, it's going to pretty much be shadeless. So it could, because it's going to be so rough that it's not going to reflect any lights. So as you can see, that was pretty simple. So let's try to do a plastic material. So let's change this to zero. And the roughness, let's do this 0 0.8 maybe. Let's see how that looks. So it looks like a pretty basic white material. So if we go back to our world, we can drag a cube. Actually, a white color is not a good example because they are already white. So I want to make this uh, bright blue. So let's apply. And what we can do is just drag the material on top of the cube. And as you can see, it already looks blue, which is pretty cool. So there we have our blue cube. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a lot to take in, but once you're familiar with materials, with how they work, it will be really easy to remember. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.